Memorial Day, 4th of July. Well, everybody loves a parade, especially children. And I thought I had escaped the patriotic urges of my style department here, but they came up with parade hats, especially nice for children. To make these hats, you'll need some corrugated paper. This is called Mini Flute Coro Buff Roll. It's $5.95, and you can make about six wonderful hats. You can also get some sheets of corrugated paper, a little bit different fluting, and there's even a larger fluting used for the rosettes, about $5.95 for 12 sheets. For the basic hat, you'll need a strip about 24 inches long by 7 inches high, and the corrugated stripes run vertically. So here is our strip already set. Mark three holes on one side about a half inch in, and identical markings on the other side. This will give you a hat that's approximately 23 inches, which should fit most heads. You can make it a little bit smaller if your child's head is smaller. Measure the heads. Punch holes through the sides. Get yourself three quarter inch paper fasteners. Roll the hat. Put the paper fasteners through. Separate the wings on the opposite side. For the brim of the hat, We've made a template, and that template will be on the website. We had to figure it out, obviously. And this is the template for the rim. It's an eight inches from here to here, and a nice arc made with a compass. And we're going to use our compass. This is set for an eight inch arc. Draw your arc. And I'm going to use my pattern for the whole rim, and this is what we're going to give you on the website. Now we want to go in one inch more because we're going to have to bend the rim up inside the hat. You can see what's happening inside here so we can fasten it nicely and comfortably around the bottom of the hat. So adjust your compass to three inches and draw another semicircle. Cut this out using your paper scissors, of course. Here at the studio, we mark all our scissors for paper, for metal, so that we don't dull our scissors unnecessarily. And now cut on this line, too, because this is the inside of the rim. It's a little hard to cut, so take a little bit of time. This corrugated paper is not so easy. Now, we're going to make sure that we have tabs, so cut into the second line like that and go all the way around. And then fold this in the opposite direction all the way around. And now you're going to fit this inside the rim. And now I'm going to Punch a hole through this side. I'm going to mark the center with a pencil so that we do not lose our place. We'll punch this. And do it about a half an inch up from the bottom of the hat. And I'm going to stick my paper fasteners in now. And now, on the far side of your rim, punch another hole. And put in your last fastener. Now, the decorations can vary from stars and stripes and rosettes and bows. Here's your basic hat, ready to put on someone's head. To make these wonderful rosettes, a 10-inch by 2-inch piece of the wider corrugated paper just rip off the liner and form the rosette by spiraling this around. And if you just keep working around in a circle, you'll get a very beautiful rosette. And you're going to have to tape this as you go, crinkling the center of the circle. But ultimately, it comes together. And you can tape the very end on the inside, of course.
and put a cross of scotch tape right across it. And here you have the round rosette that you really want. And you can put a star on top of that and a smaller star on top of that. And these can be put right on the center of the hat. You'll have to make a hole right above the center fastener and put that about halfway up. You can use the point of your compass very nicely for that hole. Take a fastener and just fasten your little star and rosette right there in the center of the hat. I think you can create your own little band of patriotic soldiers for Memorial Day or 4th of July. These parade hats are sure to be a big hit and they're easy to do. They're a great project too for teachers at school.